Boys and girls, it's here. La Tour de France 2020 is now out. What's happening everyone? Taylorson here and I welcome you to a new series on the channel as we race through the Tour de France with the team Total Direct Energy. Before we begin, there'll be an episode of this series coming out every day from now until the end of the series. So keep up to date with future videos by subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. I promise this is the only time I'll tell you to subscribe. What's happening everyone, Editor Taylorson here. Unfortunately, this isn't the only time I tell you to subscribe. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Back to live Taylorson. Also, I've edited the names of the team Ineos riders as the team isn't licensed yet. Hopefully, that doesn't make people mad that the names are wrong anymore. Before we begin, here's a quick team overview. <laughs> So, here is the team, and let's be honest, they're not great. We start with Nicky Terpstra, 80 flat, 80 stamina, 80 cobblestone, but he's only got 66 sprint, so we're not going to win anything. Oh dear. Our best sprinter and cover star for the series is Niccolo Bonifacio. 77 sprint, 78 acceleration means there is a good chance we can get a stage win with him. Our final good rider is Lillian Kalmajan. If this guy can finish in the top 20 on GC, I will be very happy. 77 hill also means that we could get a stage win from a breakaway, but it probably won't happen. Julian Simon will be protecting Kalmajan on the hill stages as he has 76 hill. Adrian Petit has 76 cobblestone and 75 flat. With 74 sprint and acceleration, he'll be working as Bonifacio's lead out man or protecting Terpstra in a big breakaway. Lorenzo Manzin has 75 sprint, and that's it. He'll be in Bonifacio's lead out train or in a breakaway. Boom. Jonathan Iver, 75 hill, nothing else. He'll be in breakaways. And finally, Ryan Tarame. I definitely messed up that name. He has 75 mountain, so I'm going to try and win the King of the Mountains classification with him. That's all I have to say, let's jump into the race. The first stage is from Nice to, um, Nice. It's 164 kilometers long, I'm expecting a mass sprint, but the downhill towards the end may mean that the breakaway hangs on. Let's see what happens. So apparently Bonifacio has to finish in the top 15, but in the case of a breakaway win, I'm going to put Manzin in the breakaway for today. Let's get started. Hello, welcome to the first stage. We are in Nice, the crowd are going wild, the riders are on the start line. As I was saying, I'm controlling Manzin and I'm going to try and put him into an early breakaway at the start of the stage. Here we go. I'm going to have to fight my way through the peloton uh, and I will be with you when a breakaway begins. Right, once I've rounded this corner, there should be a breakaway going off. If not, I'll make one myself. And there they go. On the right-hand side, it's going to be Barbero that starts the move. And it's an EF rider that's followed. It's Langeveld. I managed to catch up with it. Oh. Um, okay, yep. I know how to follow. It's all right. I've now caught up with Barbero, and I'm going to sit in his wheel now and follow the attack as it goes. Now I sit at the back and there's been movement as well behind. Dillier is going to catch us up and make four at the front. There he is for AG2R. And we're onto the climb now. So it starts off pretty shallow, but gets much steeper towards the end. So I don't know whether I'm going to hang on. They're already starting to up the tempo at the foot of the climb. I'm probably going to come to the front in the middle of it. Uh, in that little green section there because it's much flatter uh, than the rest of the climb and that is just before it rises heavily and I probably won't be able to keep up with them. So I shall follow them now and start to come towards the front at this point so I can hit the front by the time the green part starts. Barbero still currently on the front at the moment. There he goes, he peels off, which means I'm now at the front and I'm gonna set a semi-high tempo, not waste any of the red, uh, the red energy, uh, the attacking stamina. Oh, yep, I know, I know how mountain points work. 
Um, <laughs> why does it tell you that? Is there any way to turn it off? Um, apart from just in case I get one in the second stage, I don't know. Anyway, I've done my bit for the group now, so I'm going to peel off and go to the back and sit behind Barbero. And they up the tempo again, so I've got to catch... Oh my word. I don't have any words. I don't have any words. I'm not even going to speak anymore. It just annoys me so much. And we're only, what, a couple of minutes into this video? Here we go then. Ilya on the front, Barbero in second wheel, I'm on third wheel, Langeveld fourth wheel, Dilia does his relay and now Barbero hits the front, I've got to attack slightly to follow him, I'm going to take a little bit of red gel because I want to actually try and compete in the sprint here for the mountain points, possibly pick up a few um, to stop my competitors getting some into the final kilometre now, I'm going to start are going now. Peeling clear of Langeveld. Oh, I've just realised. Oh no. Oh. Ah. Uh, um. Well, that attack went well. <laughs> I didn't realise how fast the attack in stamina would go, and I've just been completely distanced by everyone. Now that is great. I'm gonna switch to first person as I go over over the top. Barbero wins it and takes the two points. Dillier in second with just the one. I thought Langeveld would have won it, but clearly I was wrong. I don't know why this is a, isn't classed as a descent. Whoa, round that corner. And I've happened to distance the other, the other three riders in the group. Uh, whilst that was all happening, I, I missed Arthur Visho breaking away. Uh, so I'm going to wait up for these. I'm going to wait up for these three and join you at the descent where we're going to go first person and see what it's like. Right, we are now onto the descent. Let me switch into first person mode. Here we go. Honestly, my thoughts on this are, oh, it's it's very cool. It's very cool. It's like you're there actually riding. So here we go, first person down the hill. Being overtaken by a few, I think it's harder to steer in first person than in third person but it may just be me rounding this bend here there's a very tight one that's coming up soon Ooh. oh I've, I've messed messed that one up around the outside of Barbero and Langeveld and oh my word that was very scary up the insides of Dillier I'm going to leave you with the final part of this descent so you can watch it for yourself and see what it's like in first person. On to the second climb of the day then and I'm sitting at the back behind Langeveld. I'm going to wait for everyone to make their move first actually before going for my sprint uh, this time. I think that is Visho on the front. It's Barbero second wheel. I'm just sit behind Barbero as he won the last mountain sprint. Uh, so I'm going to try and follow his wheel and overtake him towards the end but it will depend on on how much energy I have left and attacking stamina I have left into the final kilometer of this mountain and I thought Barbera was going to start going for it there but now I'm going to hit the front and there goes Visho I'm going to try and follow in behind him I've gone for gone for it and I've messed it up again I've, I've messed it up again. Oh dear. Uh, I, I really think I need to get better at this. Uh, this whole sprinting thing. Anyway, Barbero won the sprint again with Dillier finishing second. So I think I definitely need to take Barbero's wheel rather than the wheel of the first person that attacked. Three kilometers to go then until the sprint, and I'm on the front currently, I'm going to peel off in a second. 
so I can take the wheel of Barbero, who I think is the best sprinter there. There I go. I'm going to join Visho at the back, but probably push myself forward towards the one kilometer to go mark. This is the start, same start finish straight, so it should be a decent um, attempt at the actual finish. Here we go. I'm really pushing. Am I gonna take it? It's a well-timed sprint, but I've been done by Visho on the line. And it's set second place, second place, we're improving. One kilometer to go for the peloton then. For some reason, Kittle's broken away and I'm gonna try and get some points with Bonifacio, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I've launched my sprint too late, in fact, and I've been completely smashed by everyone. Am I gonna pick up a point? I think I am because the first 15 get points. Yep, 13th place for me there. So I get I get I get a few points. Off we go now for the final mountain of the three. I'm currently sitting pretty at the back, but my attacking stamina is going pretty fast. And I don't think I can keep up with these a lot. Ah I just don't have a high enough mount, uh, hill stat to to keep up with them. And once again, Barbero and Dillier make up the top two. But this time, Dillier wins it and takes the two points. But Barbero taking one point means he should be in polka dots by the end of today. We'll see. Whoa, that was a crash. That definitely sounded like a crash. And there, there, there was a crash in the front group, three riders down, so it's just me and another guy at the front now. I hope they can catch up, just under 10 kilometers to go now, and is that an attack? That is an attack from Dillier. Dillier going off the front, I'm going to have to try and catch this attack up, and I have done. But Langeveld's going to launch a counter from the left hand side. I'm going to try and follow that as well, but my stamina is running very low, so I hope no one else attacks, and I can just sit behind Langeveld and Barbero, and the, the rest of the group, which is Dillier, uh, and just wa watch them ride. Oh, no, off goes Dillier. As soon as I say that, it's the commentator's curse. Dillier attacks, and I just cannot keep up with them. I, I, I've run out of stamina. And that's, that's game over. Four kilometers to go now, and we are with Bonifacio in the peloton for this final. However, I'm going to do something different, and I'm going to go to post Tom Taylorson, who's going to take you through this final few kilometers. So here we go then, De Ghent is currently forcing the pace for Lotto Sudal at the front of the group, but through comes the Lotto Jumbo train, headed by Wout van Aert and riding for Grunewald in this movement on the outside of AG2R, but now we're going to switch to the front group, and Barbero lights up the sprint for the line. The winner is going to come from one of these breakaway uh, riders, Barbero's pulling away now from Dillier, Barbero's surely won this, and he has... He lifts his arms high. Barbero wins stage one. We are now on board with Fernando Gaviria of UAE Team Emirates as he lines up his sprint. Off goes Grunewagen and Viviani. Gaviria was the last one to go, but that seemed to work for him as he hit the front towards the end. And as you can see, he slightly edges out Viviani for the finish. Now on board with Bonifacio. Uh, he watches Grunewagen go, has to react, doesn't react quick enough, and ends up getting swamped by the rest of the sprinters because he lacks his sprint ability. Also, he got slightly blocked there by Grunewagen, but was lucky in the end to actually beat Matteo Trentin, who was coming through a fast pace at the end. So there he is, raising his arms aloft, Carlos Barbero, wins the first stage of the Tour de France this year and he will go into the yellow jersey Dillier of AG2R behind him in second as he comes up for the presentation now. Carlos Barbero, stage winner and also yellow jersey holder. Dillier was second, 
Langeveld just about finished third ahead of the rest of the pack. Gaviria fourth in there. Up comes Barbero to take the yellow jersey as well. I think he has got the green jersey too if he won today's stage. We'll see about that. And he should have the mountains jersey as well. So that could be a clean sweep. Let's see what happens. Indeed, it is Barbero who takes the green jersey as well. Is he on for the clean sweep of stage win? Yellow, green and polka dots. I think he is because I recall him winning the most of the mountain stages. Indeed so. Barbero in the polka dots as well. He holds every single jersey. Who's in white then? I don't know who's in white. Is it one of the sprinters? I'm not sure. We'll find out. De Kernig quick step. Who would that be? Oh no! Also, I've edited the names of the Team Ineos riders as the team isn't licensed yet. Hopefully, that doesn't make people mad that the names are wrong anymore. So, Barbero wins this stage with Dillier at 0 seconds behind him. However, with the time bonuses that Barbero gets... He will finish four seconds higher than Dillier in the overall standings. Langeveld third at 15 seconds down, but taking the four bonus seconds. Gaviria fourth, Viviani fifth, Ackerman sixth, and Nitzolo rounding out the top seven with Cabrelli eighth, Damar ninth, Jakobsen tenth, and De Boist eleventh. Bonifacio ended up finishing twelfth for us, which isn't necessarily too bad of a result he was in the top 15 and Petit was outside the top 20 in 27th Manzin ended up finishing 170th at 1 minute and 5 seconds down but that's expected from a breakaway in the mountains classification only Barbero and Dillier got points but Barbero getting 5 and Dillier getting 4 means that Barbero takes the jersey in the points classification, Barbero tops that as well. Dillier second, Langeveld third, Ackerman fourth and Viviani fifth. Visho takes sixth place after winning the intermediate sprint. Gaviria in seventh, Manzin taking eighth for us with Itzolo ninth. Trent in tenth, Grenovedia eleventh and Bonifacio on eight points in fifteenth. Jakobsen leads the young rider classification but we don't really care about that as we've not got any riders that can challenge for it. In the team classification NTT takes it and we are 12th at 25 seconds down. So that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it and will join me for stage 2 tomorrow. Remember to like and subscribe, do all of that jazz, drop a comment, something just anything, to be honest. Have a great day, stay safe, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. Right, that's all good, that's all done. My riders have recovered energy. Where are we going tomorrow, actually? Nice. We're starting off in Nice again. Hmm. I swear if we go back to Nice. No. Oh my god.